then S is closed. So every singleton is closed. Okay. In other words, I have this space Rn. I don't know how does Rn look like, but let's assume it. It goes on forever. And I'm taking a point here. A point A. I'm saying that except this point is closed. Why? Because if you, from this picture, if you exclude this point, the rest of the part is going to be open. Okay? These are there. So this is Rn, and I took a part, point A here. So that's my set S. S has, S is not a set now, it's just a point. And I'm saying that this point A, there was the set S that contains only this point is a closed set. What would be the complement of this set? Everything else, everything else, okay, except this point, okay, it must be open. So if I prove that everything else except this point is open, this singleton set is closed like this, okay. So how can I show that everything else except this point is open? So I need to do what? I need to apply the definition. Take a point from the everything else. So let's take for example B. Question. Can I draw a ball on the B? Okay. That is entirely contained in you know S complement actually. Because my claim is what? You know. If S is single, then S complement is open at one. Okay? So in other words, can I draw a ball on it? Okay? Making sure that that ball is entirely sitting in the a, you know you know S complement. And what do you mean by the ball is entirely sitting in the S complement? It means that it shouldn't contain A. Like it shouldn't contain A actually. Are you getting the point? So it shouldn't contain A. Now, how can I make sure that, you know, that I'm drawing a ball on B in such a way that it shouldn't contain A? So what should I do? What would be the trick actually? They both really intersect each other. No, they, they doesn't intersect. Uh, yeah, you can bring this B as much as close as you like to A actually. You can, you can bring it. This B can be anywhere. It's not necessary that. So it will be really close. So B B radius A B get distance is shown. Exactly. So see, so so intuitive. You don't have to be Einstein to prove a theorem. You know? It looks like this guy has done a course on topology. You know? He hasn't done a course on topology. He has to be only normal actually <laughs> to to figure this out. That you know, I know that there is a certain distance between A and B. So if I choose a radius, okay, if I choose a radius which is smaller than this distance, and which is for example, I choose you know, for example, this radius, okay, like this is smaller than the entire distance, and I draw a ball of this radius. For sure, this is not going to contain it. For sure, this is not going to contain it. Are you getting the point? So, in that manner, you can show that um, uh, everything else except A is an open set. Okay? You can you can do it mathematically. So, so in other words, you know, topology is something that you can do with the pictures. You know, you don't even you know do words and mathematics actually, you can even do with the pictures, everything is, you can really see it from the pictures actually. Anyway, so, so to show, to see S uh, as open, uh, closed, okay, we can show, we can show so just jo apne kiya hai, whatever you have done, just write it in, in the terms of mathematics. So we can show that you know S complement, which is going to be that you take away everything, 
you know, uh, you take away just A from R n actually. Uh, show that this is open. So once you show that it's open, you know, everything is fine. Okay? So in order to show this open, what I need to do, I need to take a point from S complement. Okay? Now, say, let D is the distance between the point B and A, like this. Okay? And choose, okay? Choose an R that is positive, okay? Um, such that this radius is smaller than D, okay? And consider the ball and draw the ball of the radius A, and you can show that this is entirely contained in S complement. Okay? So I picked an element from, oh sorry, I should write B here. Okay? So I picked an element from S complement. Okay? Drawn a ball of the radius that is smaller than the distance between B and A. And I can show that this ball is a subset of S complement. Okay? <coughs> and how can I show it? I can show that if you pick an element from here, the same element would also belong here. Actually. So, so verify this fact. Verify this fact. Okay? So what a, what a meta conclusion of this remark that if you take a, a set, okay, sorry, uh, if you take a single term, okay, it must be closed set. Okay. How about if I, if I don't have single term but I have two points actually, so A1 and A2, would that be still closed? And I, I don't want to make such intuition. Do we have done something that can just immediately give us a result actually? You can point X to say there is no CSFTA, energy, CSFTA. They can be anywhere. But I don't, I don't have to go into this intuition again because I can write this as the union of the single terms. Okay? I know that this is closed and this is closed, so there the union is closed. So I don't need to prove it because I just showed actually. The union of two closed sets is closed. Are you getting the point? And hence, inductively, you can show that you take any finite set must be a closed subset. Okay? This is closed set. Okay. So this is this is an interesting. Okay. So pictures help you a lot. If you have a picture in your head, that means you have everything. And think naturally. You are not doing mathematics. You know, it's, it's not really, you don't lick himself. So we are just writing it in the language of mathematics where we are talking about the general thing. Okay. And you will see later that, that, you know, these basic terminology that you are developing, the results that you are proving, they do a lot of miracles actually with regards to um, defining the nearness. Okay, let me prove uh, maybe uh, we have a half hour so maybe we can, I can finish this section on topology. And by the way, the results that you are proving in RM, that means they are also true in R and they are also true in R2 and you know, they, are, they are true in all dimensions actually. So here's an interesting proposition. A very interesting proposition. Which says that, and help me out with, with, with doing it. So let S be a subset of R n. And it, it tells you more about interior and boundary and exterior actually. Okay? So if S is a subset of Rn, then interior of S is an open set actually. Okay? So 
So we know that interior is a set, it's a subset of S. But we can also, um, you know, see its uh, nature that in its nature it's an open set. Okay. And if you have a set and you include a boundary in it, it's a closed set. The S union, its boundary is closed. Okay. And here's, 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 a, here's a very interesting thing. How about the boundary of the set? Is it open or closed? What? <laughs> <laughs> boundary? Can we? Is it open? Open or closed? Boundary open, then the boundary is open. You know, boundary is something. So, so you need to just think about it. What would be, okay, in order to decide that whether something is open or closed, you have to decide its boundary. The question is, what is the boundary of the boundary? Okay. <laughs> Isn't it? A layer. What, is, what should be the boundary of the boundary? A layer. The, the answer is, uh, same it should be itself actually. <laughs> so the boundary of the boundary should be itself. So if, if the boundary of the boundary is itself, that means you know, you know that you know it's it's closed because it contains itself. <laughs> <laughs> boundary is a line, okay, and you know the boundary of this line, you know, fictitious line is is itself actually. So it must be closed actually. Why? Because the line contains itself. Okay. Means sir, we can create a boundary line. Uh, which is entire in the time. We can create a ball at length. What do you mean by that? These are uh, definition of inner sets. Definition here, yeah. for closed sets, definition here, yeah, it should include its boundary. Boundary is different from being a closed set. Like one, one, okay, this, this is an important thing that we must realize. Open set and open ball are two different things. Okay? Open ball is an example of open set, but it's not necessary that every open set should be an open ball. Okay, you can make lots of open balls and create that open set. That's a different thing. Um, but similarly, a closed ball is a different from closed set. A set can be closed, but it's not necessary that it must be, you know, a closed ball. Closed ball is a closed set, but closed set could be a pretty nasty. Kind of a set, actually. It's the same as it is closer. Uh -huh. But uh, we draw a ball in that set. This ball is an open ball. Ball we can say is ball is closed or is ball is open. Open ball. If you are saying it is open ball, you are already saying it is open. Boundary of S P A ball. So how should we close the boundary of S P A? So I would like to show that boundary is closed. So what if you so what if we define the boundary of boundary in terms of in terms of point wise? We have uh, finite points on the boundary and it's closed up. Uh, we can't have a finite point on the boundary. I mean, imagine you have a disk. Okay, in R2. Can you say that its boundary contains the finite points? Yes. Have infinite points. So you have a boundary of this process, the boundary of S is the same as the boundary of this component. For what? The receiver closed shoulder. Boundary of S is same as the boundary of this. That's a that's a fact. Okay. How how it is going to you can you can try to write your own proof. I mean, it's fine. Give it a try. Give it a try. So it's just it's it's just that you know. So the thing that we are doing is just, you know, what you call one way of doing things. But you can think yourself as well. You can make pictures and try to come up with a proof that may be different from the bookish proof or any other proof. Okay, so here's the, here's the, here's the proof. So that's the third point. Here's the proof. So all three facts. This will be. Um, Okay. The interior is open. 
So if you want to prove something open, what do you need to do? You, you have to take a point from it, draw a ball, and show that that ball is inside that set actually. Okay. So if I say that I I take a point from interior of S, I need to show that I can draw a ball on the A and that ball entirely contained in the set interior of S, not S. Okay, that's what you have to kind of think about doing it. Okay? So, here's the thing. So, so imagine this is uh, this is the set. Okay? And if you exclude, for example, roughly boundary, you know, you have what you call the interior actually. And I want to show that interior is open. So, take a point from interior. So I can say I can find a radius positive such that if I take this point and make it a center of a ball of a radius A, it's going to be in the set S sector. Okay? In order to show, so so I have I have a point here and I have a drawn a ball. Okay, I have a, I have a point here, and I have a drawn a ball on it. Okay, with some radius. Okay, now this ball. Okay, can this ball intersect with the boundary? Answer is, you know, maybe it could be really close to the boundary as well, boundary of the set S. Anyway, so we don't have to think about the boundary. Now, what I want to do, I need to show that basically I can do what? I can, on this point, I can draw a ball. So, so this, this ball is contained in S. This is not sufficient. I need to draw a ball that is contained in the interior, not in this actually. So how can I do it? So what should be the... That radius that can help us in this situation actually. So what should I do? So what we can 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 do? So, so here's, here's the thing and what I would like to do. I would like to show, okay, I would like to show, we will show, okay, that the same ball, this PR of S is also contained in the interior of S. <coughs> so if I can show that this same ball is also in the interior of S, what does this will show it? This will show for sure that, um, that what? That I took a point from A, drawn a ball on it, and the ball is contained in the set, so the interior is open. This is going to show it. So what I need to show this, so in order to show this, what I need to do? I need to pick an arbitrary point from here, and I need to show that this arbitrary point is also in the interior. Yes. That's what I'm going to show. Okay? So let's take a point. So in other words, from this point, I'm taking a, another point. So, so that's that's the point actually that I'm taking. Maybe calling it an X. So, so let me take say X from the BR of A. Okay? And, uh, and what? And I need to show that this same point is also in the interior of S. So in order to show that the same point isn't going to be the interior of S, you know, it, it, it looks, you know, 
pretty complicated that I don't know that where we are heading actually. But if you stick with the definitions, okay, you will never go astray actually. So I want to show that this is true. So I picked a point and my claim is that this point must be in the interior. Here is the question. How can a point can go into the interior of a set? What is the definition? You have to draw a ball on that point and that ball should be part of the set. So what I want to do, I want to draw a small enough ball on this point x such that can you see it better? Okay. I want to draw a small enough ball. Okay, this is center. Like small enough ball on this. What do you say? Uh, point X. So this is this point is my X point. Okay. I'm giving it name outside. This is X. And I want to show. So once this X is sitting inside the ball, and that ball is sitting inside this ball, and so therefore I can say that this ball is sitting inside the S actually. So I have a point in S on which I have drawn the ball and that and that ball is a subset of S. So therefore I would say that's the same X would go into the interior. So that's what is the left. So keeping in view this situation, what is your suggestion that what should be the best radius to draw a ball on this point in such a way that this this small ball is contained in the ball, okay, and it's, it's, it should also stay away from the central point here. So what should I? Do? It should be less than the radius. It should be less than the radius. Actually, the the this is a, this is a so, so imagine imagine I'm zooming this picture okay so I zoom this picture yes <laughs> so just assume this is zoomed version of it so A is here and X is here and I want to draw and I know I know about the A that its radius is R okay I want to draw a ball on X in such a way which makes sure that A is not included in it, one thing. And the second thing is that you know it's included in the ball. So what should I do? Sir, X of X is less than R. Okay. Sir, R is X minus A by distance. That would be a good thing. Actually. Okay, you, 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 you compute this distance. Okay. So, so this distance is what absolute of x minus a? Yes, sir. And this total distance is what r? Okay. So this total distance is what r? Okay. So from, from this total distance, if I take away this distance, so whatever remains, so so this term would remain, and if I draw a ball of this radius onto x is not going to contain A and would be in the ball. Yes. Okay. This is what is the is the picture. Sir, one point. We just have to prove A point we have taken from the interior, but the ball is going to be in the ball. How will it go? The interior will be in the ball. Yes. Now we are done. Now we are done. What are we doing? So I would like to show the interior is open. Open both sides both that. So the open sides are those sides in which you can take any ball, take a point, draw a ball, and the ball is sitting in the set actually. So if I want to open this set, I'm taking a point from this set, and I want to show that I can draw a ball on this set point. That ball is going to be contained in the interior. So this is going to show that interior is open. Now, at the moment I'm using just definition of interior that okay, since A is an interior point, so I can find a radius such that if I draw a ball on it, it's going to contain or it's going to be contained in essence. Like this is what intuitively looks like, but you know, we don't have to believe intuition. I don't know that whether it will be an interior or not. So, if you can prove it, this ball is going to be inside interior, we are done. 
we are okay. Okay? But that's what I would like to show that this ball is also part of an interior actually. At the moment it looks, you know, maybe it, it, it you know it should be an interior, but the question is why it should be. You have to justify. So yeah, you have some idea. I think that would be trouble making thing actually. <laughs> that would be very trouble making thing if you take at any point of the problem. So that would be a trouble making thing. And you have to be careful. So, so give it a try. I'm not saying that you know it's, it's incorrect. Maybe it would be a correct thing, but give it a try and show it to me that okay you have got you have you have to do this. So you you'll have enough exercises to you know use your intuition and do things to worry about it. Okay, so what we are saying? Took a point, drawn a ball, and my so so this is from follows from definition. My um, uh, my claim is that this ball is also part of an interior. So in order to prove that this ball is a part of interior, I need to say that every point also also belongs to the interior. In other words, every point in this ball is an interior point. Okay. So if you want to prove that every point in this ball is an interior point, what you need to do, you have to take an arbitrary point from this ball and draw a ball on it and make sure that that ball is contained in this so the center would go to the interior that's what essentially you have to do so what I'm doing, I had said I took a, drawn a ball and that this ball is contained in this okay? if it is contained in this, maybe S contains a boundary, I don't know. So, S contains a boundary, and maybe this guy can hit the boundary. I don't know that whether it's near to boundary or hitting the boundary or not. Okay? Anyway, so A, drawn a ball is a subset of S. That's what this picture is telling me. Now I'm saying that in this ball, I'm taking another point, and I want to draw a ball on it, and I want to show that that same ball is also going to be a part of S. So this is going to show that this point is a point in the interior of S actually. So every point in this ball is an interior point of S. So this is going to prove this actually. Now how can I show, so this is the zoomed picture, zoomed version. So this is A, this is X. So I want to make sure that I want to draw a ball on X in such a way that that ball is entirely sitting in the ball and doesn't contain what you call the point A actually. Okay? So in order to do this, what I did, as I said, okay, this total distance is R, and this distance is X minus A. So if I you know take this R and subtract this point and draw a ball of this much radius on the point X is for sure is going to be inside. What do you call it? Is it making sense? Should it contain Because you are removing the part that is going to take it from the way it is. So, this is the same thing. The distance or the distance is half of the radius. Half of the radius is a great problem. Half of the radius. Which radius? R is the same. Where do you want to put this point? Okay, so if you are saying, here's the thing. If I'm saying this is my A and this is my point X and, and this time it's closer to A, okay? Maybe you have this issue that okay, maybe if, if it is closer to A, maybe the argument wouldn't work. The answer is still it would work So take this entire distance A, okay, and um, uh, that's what I was also thinking that, the, that why the ball sh shouldn't contain um, the A, could contain the A as well, why not, okay, could contain the A. 
So if I, for example, take this entire radius r and remove this point, so I'm going to remain with this chunk actually. So if I draw a ball of this radius, okay, which is roughly going to be something like this, so this ball is going to be inside what we call the ball. The first thing is, you have to understand it once and make sure you understand it and don't memorize it at all. Okay, so try to make sense of it very clearly. 